By the time you see this video, it won't matter. But I was working on a Jake Paul video for like, this is day two, honest to God, man. Watching his infomercials on how to become successful on social media, <sighs> they're terrible. But it's P.O. Box time. And one of these boxes obviously has something for Fluffy in it because she's going nuts trying to get into it. See, the boxes are so big, um, I can't even sit down for these, like for real. Like, these are huge, dude. And they're both from Alex from Canada. I'm telling you, this guy must be rich. If what Jake Paul says is true, he's obviously an Uber driver because they make bank. Oh, now you get down, you little monster. Oh. Look at the size of this. There we go. Oh, tough gear. Dude, these are actually tough. Where do you find this one? It's, can it squeak? If there's a squeak in here, man, you have to be strong as fuck. Tough gear, from what I understand, is uh, basically the toughest. Yes, I know. Get your pig. Get the fucking pig. This supposedly can stand up to even the most vicious dogs. So it's a good call on his part. The only problem with Tough Gear is, and she jumps on my lap. Uh, what are you jumping on? The only problem with Tough Gear is usually Fluffy doesn't keep messing with it for long. Get it, Fluff, get it. Or don't, who needs it? All right, let's go through this insanely huge box. He left me a message saying to think of this as like, a year's worth of stuff. The first one is an RE Gundam MK3? What? One, I didn't know this existed. Like I heard of the MK3. It's like a Zeta mixed with the Gundam Mark II. It does look coolish. And since it's a Reborn 100, it probably won't be much work. They never really are. And I'm guessing this is an older Reborn 100, C002, so it's like the second one. So there's a strong chance that this thing is held together with polycaps. And from what I understand with the older RE100s is that the polycap ones do not hold together well. But hey, whatever, it's just meant to stand in a display. The question is when I'll get to it. More origami flowers that spin. Not very well. Ah, really, my nuts? Oh no, I broke it, shit. What's this? What's this? A Master Grade Zaku 2. But it looks like uh, it's nothing I've seen before. Where the hell's the blade? What are we dealing with here? Is this the anime version of the Zaku 2? PlayStation 2, so yes it is. I wonder, do they use like the Zaku 2.0 body or is this like a completely different inner frame? This is worth looking into. Now this is very HG, honestly. So there's no real inner frame here. Interesting. Never seen this before. It still looks good. This is very different from what I'm expecting. But I will say I like what they did with the outer armor, more panel lines, which I feel there's nothing wrong with more panel lines and details. Maybe we should just focus on Fluffy. What is this? Oh, it's a Build Fighter Strike Gundam. Build Strike Gundam. I think it's Build Fighters. It has to be, isn't it? Yeah, it's his Build Fighters. Another kit that I know nothing about. Oh, it's all clear plastic with like sprinkles in it, sparkles or something. This must be P Bandai, obviously. Hey, no, it's not. I'm confused. Dog, your face is in the way. Now this is a clear set. So I'm guessing this is a limited edition version of this that I have no clue about because I don't know much about the Strike Gundam. I think it's Seed? Master Grade Strike Gundam Full Pack. I really need to start watching this anime so I have an idea of what's going on. But then if it says Bill Fighters, and it's from the TV show Bill Fighters. And I don't know anything about Bill Fighters because I probably will never watch it. It's kind of like 
Yu-Gi-Oh, but with Gundam model kits, if you will. Oh, watch it, pup. For, this looks like, isn't this Advanced Zeta? This is like a Hazel part. Zero Shield Booster Expansion Set for TR1 Hazel Custom. I don't have a Hazel Custom, sir. This is Advanced Zeta. Alright, Advancement of Zeta is like, it's a manga that, if I recall correctly, is happening before Zeta Gundam. It's like a prequel or something like that? What do they call it when something happens before all this stuff? I hear the manga's popular and Bandai's been making a lot of uh, model kits for this line of mobile suits. And that's about all I know because I haven't found time to read the manga. Basically, uh, my life consists of a lot of video editing at this point. What is this? I think this is the Age 1 Gundam, isn't it? It is the Age 1 Normal, I believe. Yes, it is. I hear this is actually a great Master Grade. And the one thing I like about this one, I won't even bother opening it, is the fact that the cockpit can open and the pilot figure can stand right at the door of it which I think is a really neat little gimmick. It's not much of anything, but it makes you think how come Bandai hasn't done more of this? So that's, this is something I would actually like working on. Now let's go for something already out of a bag. Here is a classic. This right here is the Serpent Custom from Gundam Endless Waltz. I had one of these you know, when I was a kid because I bought every Gundam Wing high grade. And back in the day, high grades were one 100 scale. So this is like, oh, I remember they made the figures like this. I hand painted all of these when I was a kid. That's Mari Meha and obviously Relina Peacecraft. Ugh. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Yeah, da -ba -ba -ba. yeah, this is like a blast from the past. I could probably make it look this good now, couldn't I? I actually could if I wanted to. It's just finding time to do so with a little puppy on my lap. God, I never thought I'd touch one of these again, honestly. That is crazy. Does they still make these? You know, you'd think Bandai, honestly, would do a master grade of this or something. You know, so that way you could have all of those Gundam model kits without having to go back to those old HGs. This is uh, Chaos Gundam. I know nothing about this. Oh, it's from Seed. The very, it looks like the guy who played Captain Marvel. <laughs> this is like the equivalent of the high grade of old with the Serpent Custom. I know nothing about this at all. It looks cool painted, that's for sure. I wonder if there's as much detail in this as an RE100. It's basically a line for Bandai to make kits that aren't as popular as other kits, but still fill the need for people to get, let's say, a kit of whatever that thing is, the Chaos Gundam. I didn't even know there were that many Gundams in Seed. This is a Gelgoog, or Gelgoog, Shars, obviously, from the PS2 game, which I actually have this. I wonder where is it? Probably another room. What is this? Gundam? No, it's not Gundam Encounters in Space. This has to be like Journey to Jabral, I'm going to guess. If I were to put money on it, it'd be Journey to Jabral from the, this is from. Looks as good as the 2.0 from the outside. Hmm. That's a lot of stuff to work on, honestly. What is this? What is this? Age 1 Titus? I forgot the Age 1 Gundam actually could be modified for different stuff. I've never watched the anime. See, there goes a cockpit gimmick that I was talking about in the last one. Can we zoom in, asshole? This 
There's probably someone who was an age one Gundam fan that's screaming at me. Like, it was amazing, you idiot. How come you haven't seen it? What is this? This actually looks cool. I have no idea what it is at all. What is this? What anime is this from? Hama Hama, uh, Neo Zeon's prototype custom mobile suit AMX 103. This looks a lot like the mobile suit. What's the name of that guy who had a crush on Full Frontal? And Gundam Unicorn, I cannot remember. It definitely looks like a version of that. So this must be like, oh, look at that. That's pretty cool that you actually need multiple act. Does it come with the action base stands? That would be a cool move from Bandai. Okay, that's pretty tight. That is cool. I have no idea what this mobile suit is. I'm gonna guess it was from Z Double Zeta or something like that, or an, a manga that I never heard of. Honestly, this looks pretty cool. This might be worth building just for that weird arm factor alone. And when I say building, I mean putting it on the rush pile. That seems to only be growing with time, honest to God. Oh, hey now, the Hazel. Uh, explains why he sent like the expansion pack. Is this the white Hazel or the blue Hazel? I think this is the dark blue Hazel. Yep. All right, well, I at least have incentive to build this and then throw the expansion shields on. I really don't know much about the Hazels other than Advancement of Zeta. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, is this, zoom it out. Good God. Okay, I might have noticed something here. Well, I checked the different ones here. I think this Hazel can be converted to these two types, which is actually cool for the level of customization. Hmm. So if you prefer the gym version, that's that's cool. That's honestly cool that Bandai would at least add that. Whoops, there's like, it's such a pile growing here, dude. What? What is this? I don't even know this one. I was about to say it looks like a Zeta, but it's a uh, regen dual Gundam um, from Gundam Seed versus Astray. Oh, it's not even in focus of I don't know what this is. I'm guessing it's from the manga that I've never seen. I wish they'd give you like water slide decals, but I know there's no way in hell they give you water slides at this. It's basically a scaled up high grade. I know nothing about this guy. I know that he looks like a Street Fighter character. He looks like Terry Bogard. I take it back. He looks like he's from SNK. Hey, look at that guy. He looks like an SNK fighter. <laughs> like I really know nothing about this one, Alex. This is a P Bandai, uh, wait. Gundam TR1 Advanced Hazel, but I thought that was an Advanced Hazel. Okay, so, hmm, okay, I get it. I think this goes to this. I'm actually confused now. Also, oh, they're different types of Hazels. Okay, this one is um, Hazel 2 and this one's Hazel 1. All right, thank God they put the numbers there for retards like me. God, did they really box these up? Uh-oh, that might be Japanese. I could be fine. I was like, oh, I see Chinese writing. I'm fucked. <laughs> this one is uh, the Titans Hazel. They're all Titans, aren't they? That's a reserve unit. Quell, okay. 
So this is the white version of the Hazel. There's basically three versions of the same kit, just slightly different. Typical P Bandai, to be honest with you. Ugh. Ugh. This shit is actually huge. How about you move, honey? <clears throat> Fluffy, I can't do this with you on my lap because the box is that big. <clears throat> and lastly, ugh, one of the perfect great kits I always wanted to build, and unfortunately, I never have time because my life is now pretty much full-time editing. The GP01 I think it's full Vernian version, full burner, but actually you can switch between the two. Obviously a little picture show. This is classic Bandai perfect grade. And when I say classic Bandai perfect grade, I mean this thing whoops, has so many options that it's phenomenal. The fact that they give you a bit of a cage to put your extra stuff in. The fact you can choose between the two versions. A full opening hatch gimmick on the suit. This thing is absolutely crazy. Sadly, Bandai doesn't really do this anymore. With their perfect grades, they're sort of rudimentary. Perfect grades have now become big master grades, in my opinion because it's just like a frame and maybe you're lucky if it has a hatch gimmick. And it also feels like Bandai is leaning more towards LEDs and RGB because people like lights rather than detail, articulation, and so on and so forth. Uh, this is still, to this day, one of the greatest perfect grades ever made and it's still very, very popular. Now thank you very much, dude. Uh, you went above and beyond, honestly. In fact, those are the only boxes I got, and literally, uh, it feels like I got 20 boxes in two boxes. Like, this is absolutely insane, the amount of stuff sent, dude. Like, crazy. Beyond words, really. I'd love to build this thing. I really would. But I'm currently working on a project called Trash to Treasure. And I can't even open my door because there's so many damn dog toys. If this falls, then the project is over and I will scream. This is what I've been working on for the past few days. Or maybe weeks, how about you focus? It's a resin recast of the Infinite Dimension slash Anchor 2T Sasabi Verka conversion, which basically means Another Chinese site took their work, recasted it poorly, and sold it at a cheaper price. I got this back when I couldn't find an Anchor Tea Kit. And uh, yeah, still looks good if you're willing to put the hours of work into it. It's actually a nightmare to build because it's so poorly casted. There's broken pieces, missing pieces, warp parts galore. The time it took me just to do half the body, I probably could have built half of this <laughs> with much less hassle. In fact, I bet I probably could have built one whole body part. But that's enough of me pontificating about nothing. Uh, once again, thank you, Alex. Uh, you always tend to go above and beyond. I don't know what to say, because it's absolutely insane. I'm waiting for Ashton Kutcher to come in here, kick down my door, hit me in the head with a bat, and then scream I got punked. Maybe Alex from Canada is actually Ashton Kutcher. All right, it's been a while since I've opened packages. Oop. I like, I thought I had the coronavirus, honestly. Oh, I can't even say that. I thought I had the T virus. Can I say that? Will YouTube get me? But it turns out I had a sinus infection. How embarrassing, right? I'm like hiding off my place, and I'm like, I can't go out there. I must protect the people. 
So, I haven't checked my P.O. box in weeks. I'm pretty sure, oh lord, not packing peanuts. Damn it. Go away, Fluff. Go away, shoo, shoo. I hate packing peanuts, simply because the dog goes nuts for them. So let's try and get this out without any peanuts hitting the floor. Because if they do, Fluff, you'll try and eat them. There we go. Uh, get. Dude, what the? I hate packing peanuts. I genuinely do. Somebody ordered me a custom cup with a little native boy, and it says Papa Gundam on it. Ironically, I think only chiefs were able to wear headdresses. Yeah, you see them in powwows, though, once in a blue moon. Or you see them on YouTubers like that one that claimed to be goth. He was running around in that black and blue headdress for years. It used to piss me off, man. You have no idea how that pissed me off. I'm like, if I could snatch it off your head and slap you around, oh, I can't even say that. This damn sight, man, I'm telling you. But thank you, whoever sent it, because uh, I probably, I don't think they threw a message in there. And I'm not going to lie to you, I don't want to mess with the packing peanuts to try and find it. For the time being, let me go to the trash can and see if I can find one. Sadly, there was no message. Fluffy's back. Good work, Fluff. Just yank the microphone off my chest. And then rub your ass into it. Uh, let's see, Fluffy's investigating. Get in there, Fluffy. What'd you find? What did you find, Fluffster? Oh, I cut that open. Yeah. Let's try again. No. There's a message here somewhere. If you're not... Oh, if you've not read the Dragon Lace series previously, if you like this, the Legends Trilogy will be a must afterwards. Spent much of my high school years on these. I revisit every few years. Wayne... Oh. Please tell me I didn't have his... Okay, good. You couldn't see his name. Yasha613. Well, let's see what's shaking, because I don't know what this is. Ah, Dragons of Autumn Twilight. It looks kind of like uh, Lord of the Rings, almost, and I'm sure that will piss someone off, but, you know, a filthy casual such as myself doesn't know the finer delicacies of reading materials. Well, thank... Ow, oh, damn it, dog. Thank you, Yasha. I believe that's it, because I cut it in half. Has to be Yasha. Oh, it must be good if you revisit it every few years, because I revisit Berserk every few years. Currently, uh, my area is in a state of emergency. A couple people tested positive for the virus. YouTube won't. Can I even say the virus? Probably not. Screw it. So things have been real odd around here. Like every county is just like, oh, it's over. Everyone's scared to death. Go away, dog. Here comes that fluff. Let's chuck this here. Because they always put the message here. Hi, it's a Gundam. Enjoy your gift from DZ. Or how about we say Zap Pata? Because I believe that's not a name, honestly. But I don't want to. Love watching your videos, Gundam. Except <laughs> the thought ones, lol. Though you make enjoy this since you love Gunpla. Though I may enjoy this, I believe. It says Mike, so it's probably like autocorrect fixing it for you. Uh, please forgive me for doing that. What's this? Uh, Gundam Breaker. I don't have a PS4. <laughs> I don't. What is this? Now right, you go crazy with that pup. I'm not uh, Gundam Breaker 3 and all six DLCs available. Special packing. More than 20 additional Gunpla will be joined in the series. Is this like the game where uh, they're all actually model kits and you break them up and put them together in like a kit bash? I really should have had that in the frame, but I'm an idiot. Well, thank you. Uh, I'll probably buy the PlayStation 5, so it'll be backwards compatible and I can play it then. Ah, fluff, honey. Could you just not? This one's all the way from England, I believe. Down, dog. Down, dog. 
Does this say panties? Royal Mail. Uh, it is the United Kingdom. Here, go play with that. It's for you. Merry Christmas. Oh, I forgot to read the name. Ow, my penis. All right, Ryan. Man is least himself when he talks in his own person. Give him a mask and he will tell you everything, the truth. An Oscar Wilde quote, and oddly enough, it says that right there. That is a good quote. Oscar Wilde had a lot of great quotes. Honestly, a portrait of Darian Gray, or is it a picture of Darian Gray? I keep calling it a portrait. It is probably one of the best books I think I ever bothered to read. Like Lord Henry's speech on human nature alone, on the morality of your dog not being quiet when you're explaining Lord Henry's speech, Fluffy, on the immorality of influence. It's fantastic. Do yourself a favor and at least read that one part. What else did Oscar Wilde once say I thought was still poignant to this day? He said, the only thing about common sense is that it isn't very common. Imagine that. He wrote it in, what, 1909 or some crazy shit? I'm probably way off on the year. But it was the early 1900s. And you can look at that quote and it still applies today. I don't know why I am pontificating about something that is so inconsequential. Maybe it's because of the whole state of emergency and the quarantine and you're just watching everything fall to ash. But hey, you're the clown, so make them laugh. We got another one from Amazon Fulfillment. Can't see Fluffy. Fluffy for the love of Jesus. Uh-oh, Fluffy. <clears throat> Hold on, darling. What's this? It's a toilet, I think. The original coffee mug toilet. Drink from the bowl. Good Lord. I don't even drink coffee. I could drink orange juice from it. We'll pretend it's piss. This one says a gift for you. Well, let's take a read. Hey Gundam, I really enjoy your content. Even though it gives you cancer. Enjoy your gift from David. Well, thank you, David. Uh, it's time to go back to the cancer mill. I'm gonna have to watch some Lily Singh stuff or Lily Sai. I hate watching her comedy bits, man. I really do. Like, if I was torturing prisoners, you know, if I had a dude doing a life sentence, her show would play 24 hours in his cell. That would be what I'd do, but that's probably cruel and unusual punishment. What will we go? Eh. It looks like uh, protein snacks. All right. Sweet teriyaki turkey. Teriyaki turkey. Teriyaki turkey. Hell yeah, dude. Now that's nice. Oh, this is going to be great when you're not allowed to go shopping in my area anymore. I'm going to save these for the lean times, dude. <laughs> you just did me a serious solid, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna like hide these in my bedroom. They have to come through me and my razor blade to get them. Get down dog, those aren't for you. You're not getting any. Hey Gundam, I emailed you about this anime. I hope you enjoy it and watch the rest. Please keep up the videos and thank you for all you have done. From Eric, well thank you, Eric. Now, I wish I could remember which email you sent. I kinda get a lot these days and honest to God, I, I it's hard to keep up anymore. Like, uh, Zill was talking to me privately, and he's like, dude, I don't know how the hell you do it. He's like, the amount of messages I get on Twitter alone is just too much. And I'm like, yeah, don't worry. Give it, like, two, three more years. You won't know your head from your asshole. You'll have so many messages. Oh, what is this? This looks violent. This is Overlord, right? Yeah, now I remember the guy who was talking to me about Overlord. Show him who's the final boss. I might have to, yeah, I think my PlayStation could play this. is Blu-ray. I still got my PlayStation 3. I just don't have a 4. I, I sold my PS4 to uh, build my first real gaming PC. It was a 4790K. I love that thing to death. It worked well up until uh, this thing. <sighs> Back when I could just sit and game. I miss those days, man. You don't even know. This feels heavy. 
Yeah, this is definitely heavy. What the hell is this? It's like a brick. Well, thank you again, Eric. Oh, shit. Finland Saga. Get away, dog. Get away. These are for me. The hardcover versions, bro. You know how long it's been since I've read Vinland Saga? Well, technically, I stopped reading when uh, the main character uh, grows up and he stops. Oh, well, I can't tell you what happens because then I'll ruin the anime and the manga for you. Well, I'll say this much. I stopped at the point where it involves a lady who's a hunter. And that's is all I'm going to say. Dude, this is fucking fantastic. Like, for real. I've already got this one, but, you know... I gotta get a bookshelf. Thank you very much, dude. This is sweet shit. I'm gonna read it while I'm alone in my bed because my personal life has gone to shit real bad. Dude, this is fantastic. Four fucking volumes, bro. These must be expensive because they're hardcovers. I am genuinely grateful for all this stuff, especially the beef jerky. This is gonna come in handy soon. I'll, I'll, I'll be reading Vinland Saga by candlelight, nibbling on pieces of beef jerky to survive. This one comes from Japan. And I don't know how I'm going to get it open because I have a dog on my lap this whole time. See? She really just don't care. It's Fluffy's world. We're all just living in it. Shit, if Corona gets me now, I'll die. Oh, I said Corona. Oh, I said it again. Brilliant moves. You know what? Screw it. I'm not editing it out. Stupid YouTube. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like P. Bandai. What is this? A limited edition Tall Geese 1? What? Who could have sent this? It's either Alex from Canada or Corey. I could be wrong because there's no message. What? I gotta see what this is because I have no idea. Oh, it's the special coding version. Okay. So, beep, beep. Uh, it's got a slight pearl coat to it. Yeah, this is a pearl white, definitely. Not a great pearl white, to be honest with you. From a painting standpoint, one of the best pearl whites I've ever really seen would be the Yamaha R6 pearl white from 2008. The silver parts are very metallic. That's an, that would clash in my opinion, kind of. Like a pearl with a sort of uh, liquid silver is the color they have here. I'm talking motorcycle colors now because it's the best I can do. Interesting. Well, you know what? Since this is a special coating kit, I can just build it and not paint it. And then I can use it as a barometer for when I paint the normal Tall Geese 1 kit. And then show the difference between a non-painted special edition and a regular painted one. So thank you whoever sent that. And here's the last box. It's big and slightly heavy. Uh, 10 a.m., huh? What the hell is this? <clears throat> Looks like a battery or something. Maybe these are frames that I could throw some of the artwork I was sent in. I'm guessing that someone picked up on that. But I don't know if the frame size matches what the people drew. But does that even matter when you think about it? Well, thank you. This will serve a purpose. And it was obviously thoughtful and thought out because, honest to God, I had forgotten. Oh, I could put Chuchi in there. Where's Chuchi? There's Chuchi. I could put Chuchi in there. And yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry, it's just uh, thinking about Chuchi, so my brain sort of froze, if you don't mind. Well, that's it for now. 
thank you to everyone who sent anything. It's always nice to be loved and remembered. Oh, Smokey's here, by the way. A rare occurrence when Smokey visits. Sorry, I don't have my gimbal set up. Smokey, say hello. He can do it, he just won't. As soon as I turn off this camera, he'll talk. Oh, he'll talk, baby. Smokey loves to talk. Smokey will talk to you all night long.